Maybe. All right. Hey, so welcome, everybody. This is Justin Lutter, the professor of real estate. And holy cow, it took us five minutes just to get ourselves ready to go. I'm so kidding. They were ready to fire up before I even started. So we are here today to kind of give you all the back end perspective of really how we think as real estate agents, as tech people, as speakers, what we're doing on a daily basis to see where things are heading and how things are going. And that's what we're doing today. I just wanted to give you a back end, and really it might be scary to be honest with you folks, kind of how we think inside our heads on how tech is going and those conversations that we have, not only with ourselves, but with the folks around us. So with that, let me ask you, where are you guys seeing the tech today? I'll start with Marquis because I know we were talking about that early on. So Marquis, where are you seeing real estate needs specifically about the tech ends, what we need to be aware of from an agent perspective? What's going on, world? Glad to be here this afternoon. And I want y'all to know we stay ready, according to J-Man. Uh, so since we stay ready, <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, this is afternoon <laughs> of excitement, like this is, guys. Good morning, oh, real estate. Fate. That's what that thought, uh, you know. <laughs> so where do I think, uh, well, one, I think we're still very heavy on video content and repurposing that content. When you start thinking about tools like Restream that Carrie uses quite a bit. Uh, but here's what I'm realizing. We're able, especially those who were earlier adapters of social media and technology, we come up with ideas and implement in 24 to 48 hours because we've become familiar with the tech. So I think that we're going to see a lot of new tools emerging. But the one thing that I would encourage all real estate professionals to do Stop stepping over dollars to pick up pennies. Some of these tools are not relevant. They don't go back to your core business plan. It doesn't go back to who you're trying to connect with. So I encourage people to look at that before they dive into any new tools. And I still need realtors to embrace video. It isn't going anywhere. And those who have implemented have seen substantially more market share. Their increase in market share, the rate at which they increase that market share, they're seeing substantial growth. So concentrate on videos, concentrate on repurposing the content, but then don't just buy any and everything. Always come back to your broker, see what tools they're already providing you with, and then also think about your local association, state association, and national association of realtors but everything should follow your business plan. So if you don't have a business plan, you're starting off on the wrong foot. Yeah, I, I would agree. Any other, Carrie, J-Man, any ad libs or ad, ad additions to that? I'm gonna say this, I'm in agreement with Marky. Take advantage of the tools that you use every single day. So um, a lot of times we, this is what I always tell agents, especially new agents, I just, so I was having a conversation with one of the local associations because I'm in a in the Goldman Sachs 10,000 K businesses, small business business program. And a part of my growth project is research. So I had to, I'm doing research to figure out how many new real estate agents are coming into the marketplace. And we um, in one of our local associations, it's 225 a month. And whenever I speak to new real estate agents, I say to them, if you don't know where the inventory comes from, it's like owning your own Nordstrom and not knowing where they buy their clothes from. So if you haven't figured out how to master your multiple listing service, how to master your tech, your uh, tax tools, how to master the tools from the local, the state and the National Association of Realtors, you are spending money you don't need to spend. And I'm telling you, because some today. Someone was, e people are emailing me constantly, texting me, Carrie, do you need a lead? Do you need a lead? I'll sell you a lead. I'm like, no, I don't need a lead. I, and, and Justin, you know what I really want to send them back is, nope, my MLS gives it to me. But, you know, I'll bait them. And I'm like, so what, how, what are you going to sell me? My zip code? Okay, great. Now, how many leads have you, have you scrubbed them? Because I have data tools that tell me, as of today, in Chicago, single family, residential, off the market, detached. Um, there were so many in Chicago uh, with a high sell score, I couldn't get the data. But when I dug a little bit deeper, there are 1,569 properties in the city of Chicago with a high sell score and no mortgage, and they're not listed. And if I go a little bit further, 
15 plus years in the home, there's 418. So when somebody says, Carrie, do you need a lead? I'm like, give me a minute because I'm just gonna create my own marketing piece and I'm just gonna go to my own subdivision. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah you know, here's, okay, I'm next. Um, <laughs> cause, cause, cause I can't wait, because you know, I see Carrie, like you start talking about video, I'm like this, I'm like, put me in coach, put me in, but then <laughs> Carrie, Carrie her data, and she was like, hold up, I got the stacks of data right over here, stacks on stacks on stacks, make me stack, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm all, I'm all with it. I think the future is the past, the present and the future will be video. Video is only going to be a bigger percentage of everything that we do. If you got kids that are under the age of 15, they're on YouTube all the time. That's going to become mainstream. It's going to be how we consume all of our information in the future. And then data using data and predictive analytics to be smarter about how you're prospecting rather than going after the whole world. Why the hell would I do that? When I got data, I'm going to hit carry up and go, what's that high sell score, girl? She's going to go talk to these people. Boom. We got them. We got them. And then hold up. A little secret sauce coming from the J-Man over here. Messenger bot marketing on, on, <laughs> on demand resources that the consumer wants, right? Today's modern consumer wants you to predict what they're going to ask and have it ready for them on a platter. That's what messenger bots do. Right. What? Oh, I was going to ask about uh, how I could buy a home with low down payment or this or that or or uh, Marky's son, Skyler. He's got a program working with people on how to pay off their student debt. What? That's it. I'm going to drop this. Out. Yeah. Where the houses reside. <laughs> I couldn't say what I wanted to say. <laughs> Get it. Uh, look, just listen, listen, straight up. Just stay positive. Just stay positive. That was the best you could do. That's all I got. Just stay positive. Oh Lord. Oh wait, Carrie, lift that back up. Look, we got some fabulous people learning how to pivot yeah. in today's marketplace. That's straight up out of our private membership group member. Uh, actually, she's not even in real estate. That's the look. That's the beauty of what we teach. She is in the promotional products industry, but joined a real estate group because we're always talking about technology and how to pivot with small to medium companies. And what I've realized is that as a real estate professional, our mindset and our industry mimics other industries that they can learn a lot about their businesses. As I tell people, we use real estate case studies, but what we teach applies to any industry. Let's go back to the data, Justin, that you and Carrie teach, right? A lot of that is stats, statistics, right? What I thought was the dumbest class in the world in my early 20s. But when you're 50 and you live on the south side of the city of Chicago in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of zero temperature, right? You want to know the probability that if I get up, if I wash my face and brush my teeth, if I put on my long johns and I go out and I warm my car up, oh, better yet, dig my car out to warm my car up. What is the likelihood of this person closing on a real estate transaction? Because guess what? We got options. I don't have to brush my teeth. I don't have to dig my car out. I don't have to sit in the cold car. Or some people have remote starters, right? Did you at least put on a good bra? <laughs> Marky, stay good bra ready, okay? Stay good bra ready. I just need, let me just show you what I'm working with okay <laughs> stay good bra ready I, I understand some people bra sales are down substantially some of y'all need to go back on in there and put on you as a good brazier as my grandmother would have said baby uh-uh we're not gonna do that oh. uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not doing no parts of it just so that you know just, and listen Justin, it wasn't Justin us that said it it was brian buffini so brian I'm buffini said it blame it on brian I, I feel like Justin right now feels like a zookeeper that let the animals out. <laughs> He's like, oh, shoot. How do I get him back in the cage? Uh oh. I'm taking notes. Who are you kidding? Uh, Look, real estate data gone wild. <laughs> it's, but you know what? It, I tell you what, I think it's a good point, though, right? Because this is how we're all sitting, right? We're talking how everybody else is feeling. We are right now in that moment in life where we're all ready to bust out the doors, right? We have been stuck inside way too long. 
Um, so I get this. I think this energy is perfect because that's what we're all feeling anyways. We're like, let's just go. Let's go do something. Let's go get it out. Let's go hit the, let's go do something. But going back to what Marky and Carrie and J-Man have been saying, we, we've got to be tactical, right? We've got to be able to know what we're doing and we've got to be systematic. One of the things that I feel is really important, the things that I teach most people when I'm talking about this stuff is I am tired of people telling me that we need to be the person when they're ready to buy that we're thinking of them. I already say that's too late. <laughs> we need to be ahead of the game. We have to be before they're thinking about real estate. We need to be their thought because of real estate, right? That's what we need to be. So how are we as a group, how are you guys doing it today? How are you being that that go-to resource before they even know they need to be that person? Who wants to take that? You know, because Marky, listen, I, I'm, I'm going to go first because when Marky goes, it's over. Because <laughs> Marky, when she gets her ideas, I'm the one that gets the phone call on a Sunday morning at 6 a.m. Okay, Carrie, I'm like, do I need to get Evernote out? No, 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 no. And she gets, I'm like, yes, I need to get Evernote out. So, no, take Otter, start recording the conversations. Well, I could, I could, but yeah, I, See, you know what? You're probably right. You're, yeah. Okay. Justin, let me write that down. Record conversation with Marky in the morning. So <laughs> see, now I, got, I digress. So how do we stay top of mind? I'll tell you, it just goes back to what J-Man said, uh, video. And for me, it's been clubhouse. So when club, so I was asked to be on uh, clubhouse and some people are like, what is clubhouse? Clubhouse is the new, um app that allows you to have it's like your own broadcast and it's only audio and i was asked to join clubhouse and i was like not another thing what do you what are you looking for me to buy i got all these text messages i'm like i, I can't do another thing and so eventually i talked to one of the agents in the office and shana was like here you got to get on because there's all these people they're in rooms they're collaborating there you get to actually talk to people you would have never been able to talk to and so what it's done for me it has put me in the forefront to the point where now, Marky, I'm getting emails for people to interview me on Clubhouse. So it's kind of cool. So I am now, I have agents that have connected with me all over the United States. And now they're, they're, they're finding me on Instagram. Carrie, I found you on Clubhouse and I'm now following you on Instagram. I have a question. And it's typically someone from like Virginia. It's been New Jersey all because of one new social media platform. And the cool thing is, is you really don't have to get up, get dressed and brush your teeth because no one can see you. <laughs> I have grown my Instagram account by 1000 new followers because of Clubhouse. And yes, you do need an iPhone or an iPad to join Clubhouse. But here's some good news because the founders on Sunday said in about two months, Droid, here we come. Finally two months that's a long time it is they're working on it but now they're there and now they have a creative platform they're launching some new um opportunities so so for those of us that have a show good morning real estate we can now have our own show on clubhouse and they'll push it if it's a good show holler, holler. So i'm not I saying that shows. i didn't I, apply I three shows right now right there you go we got the justin show the e-professor show We've got the six and 12 show. We got the bot show. We've got the coffee with Carrie show and we've got good morning real estate. And the other day, Carrie and I tested for people on Instagram uh, live where they stated now you can leverage it to record your podcast. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's weird really? because I'm going to call, I'm going to call my cell phone provider and ask them why that call didn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear I even asked you. We did. Let me say this. We must have sent it to the wrong person in New York, right? Because right. we did have a New Yorker on. I just need you to know that. And then Carrie's twin joined in. We didn't invite. Oh, him. hold on. Oh, wait a minute. It was, it was Joe. Sonona. It was, it was, yes. It was Joe Sonona. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, we're gonna once you finish your event today, we're gonna come and meet you. We're gonna come and meet you because clearly work. I need to talk to your cell phone provider because something must not be working right. Something, something's not right. Something is not right. So but we, we need to think about that. Oh, J Man didn't have his chance to speak because I rudely interrupted. I've got excited. I'm sorry. All my life, been grinding all my life. All right, so uh staying top of mind. 
I'm gonna get on Clubhouse. Eventually, I might be on the on the four Pete over here with with the ladies. You know, they picked another New York. I thought you only knew one person in New York. You introduced us to Joe, so no, all good, me. all good. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I understand. That's all good. But anyways, uh, you know, staying top of mind, it's it's trying to predict what the trends are, and and I think that's what's one thing when you look at us, all of us together, is like we're not afraid to go out on a ledge. And try something new, right? Where it's like, damn, this this might be something. I don't know. Let's go. We're literally <laughs> like walking the plank and like, well, I'm about to jump. I'm going to figure out how to fly on the way down. I mean, we, we talk about that all the time when Reels came out, Clubhouse came out, all these different different things. Pandemic hit. I'm like, oh, man, we're going to have to do a lot of virtual stuff, right? And seeing how I can do this. And now just today I had uh, at the AEI conference, I was teaching all of the AEs throughout the land how to hold better virtual events when prior to the pandemic, I had been on a Zoom two times in my entire life. Wow. So it's like I, I took it upon myself to learn new things. And if you're going to learn something new, don't do it to be average. Do it to be the very best. That you, like if I'm going to do something virtual, I'm going to be the best damn virtual presenter that ever walked the land. That's the goal when you do something. Not just, oh, you know what? I think I might do some virtual stuff. Um, I'm going to shoot to be subpar today. <laughs> Maybe average, you know. <laughs> like, like, what the hell? Just yo, man. Clearly, J Man's parents fed him a lot of affirmations and mindset <laughs> as a kid growing up. Because, baby, there is no shortage of self esteem in that young man right there. Come through, J Man. Come through. That's right. Well, no, and here's the thing my dad always told me I could do anything I want in life. There wasn't a lot of affirmations, but he said, if you want to be. You know, if you want to sell hot dogs, because we talked about that in the past, you know, if you, whatever you're going to do, be the very best at it, because there's millionaires in every single industry in the planet, right? There's, there's somebody who does tooling and machining, which is what I actually went to school for, tooling and machining, and they want, right? And I said, man, if I do this, I'm going to have to own the place, because this sucks being a guy on the floor. <laughs> That's what I said to myself. I'm like, how can I, okay, okay, buy this machine and figure that out? Just, just. Predict the trends. Don't be afraid to do new things because if we're doing it here in the United States, usually somebody in the UK or somewhere else has some YouTube tutorials already done for us on how we can be better at it. Jay, man, you just made an interesting point because I teach a certain thing and I've wondered when we hit that threshold. I We've all been teaching video for four years. Do video, do video, do video. We've been teaching that forever. Well, and yeah. I have told people that right now, although I'm wavering on this lately, that it's okay to fail in video, right? It's, you know, learn and take those steps forward. But I always tell them there's a threshold where you can no longer fail, right? There, there's going to be a point in time where they expect the J-Man backgrounds on the scene. They're going to expect the quality stuff that exists out there. Are we there yet? Are, I mean, I think so. I keep, I, I, I'm, I'm stammering on saying that you... You know, I don't want people to be scared off from doing video, but just to do it okay, as J Man just said, yeah. it's probably not good enough anymore. Nope. Well, here's now, so here's what I think you have to have you have to be consistent and you have to have content. I definitely know that I get away with not having the greatest uh, visual, you know, like the highest camera, but I'm consistent. And here's the thing most people, do not know how to be consistent. I know that sounds real simplistic, but this is not a one hit wonder. And I was looking at someone's video the other day out of DC. <clears throat> he had 100,000 views on a Reels. Most people would have get, would get that 100,000 views and that's it because they believe that this is a one hit wonder. We get great engagement. And once we get that great engagement, the question is how do we improve? right? How do we do this better? What do we need? Do we need to pivot the camera? So we're coming back for consistency. And to me in the world of video, nothing tops consistency and content. Or think about this one thing you can't buy and what you can't teach the ability to be vulnerable. Like we're all vulnerable, right? You can't teach that. Like you really got to have a heart. You you really well, you got to develop. I don't give a damn attitude to be quite honest with you. Um, be, to be vulnerable, right? We've all had failures. We embrace our failures, okay? Um, and they won't be consistent. They think it's all about them, all about them. 
and they won't be vulnerable. And that's nothing you can teach in a class. Like you could try to teach that concept. That's mindset. Back to J-Man. Mm -hmm. Right? Mindset. Those affirmations. Yeah. It's about consistency. Because mm -hmm. I, I know that I've put out some video that the quality was not great, but the results <clears throat> were freaking phenomenal. Yep. Yeah, you always say if they can't hear you, then they're out. Oh, audio is every but look at how many ways we can repurpose the audio. <laughs> yes. Right? The podcast. How many platforms can you be on? The audiograms, the Alexa Flash briefings, the audio to text transcription. So now we got emails. We also have uh emails, we have blog posts, we have captions for all of our posts. So regardless to how you look, if you capture great audio, and I'm I'm all about the better audio, because I need mm -hmm. to be able to repurpose that content into multiple forms of content. And I'm gonna say one more thing. <laughs> Everybody also thinks in that one hit wonder that everyone has saw that one post. No more than 10% of your audience ever sees any one post because of the algorithm. We need to start thinking about every time we create one piece of content, how to repurpose or reshare that content a minimum of 10 different ways so that it can hit people one in their preferred or, or learned learning style, whether that's audio, visual or reading, and then on the platform that they desire to hang out on. And you made a good point, Marky. Uh, and, and I'll go back to Justin's statement about having great video. I, I'm going to say this. I, I started editing television back in the 90s. So I had a leg up. Um, on the editing part, but if you're if we're telling you to do video, you need to try. And if it does come out awful, the cool thing is you can archive it, you can hide it, but you gotta start somewhere. Um, and Marky's right. So I've been doing reels all day today. So I did three reels today to talk about that same data, because now I've got Rochester, New York on here, by the way. Um, <laughs> yes, Jay, man, I'm coming to your neighborhood. Oh, um, you know, wait, you know somebody in Rochester, New York? <laughs> I might. I might. And I might know all, where all the high sell score properties are. Um, I'm just saying. My, my point in all of this is, is I took that same video and I put it on the Twitter story. I put it, I, I went to LinkedIn, but they only wanted 20 seconds. So LinkedIn lost. I put it on my Facebook story. I put it on Facebook groups. I put it on a Facebook page story. I put it in the feed on a Facebook group. And I actually, and the cool thing is, is because it was my own voice, I uploaded it directly to TikTok. Hmm. Multiple platforms, all highly visual, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. With a different audience almost on every last one of those platforms. Yeah, and different. I am not known on TikTok, but after my Goldman Sachs cohort and an attorney saying she did it twice, once or twice, and her company made over $265,000. Let me say that again. $265,000 because she tried TikTok. And it wasn't from the platform. It was people were calling her. And if you looked at her feed, you'd go, no way. Because every post, every and she still hasn't figured it out. Every text, her face is covered. But who cares? Her staff was pissed at her. She said they never swear, but they were they cussed her out basically because they couldn't take a lunch for a few days. All because they tried something. I interviewed a young lady today by the name of uh, Candace Spears, and it was all about mindset and entrepreneurship. Yeah. And she wrote a book uh, talk, talking about bring your crayons to work, right? We often come into the world of real estate and it's to duplicate something that we've seen somebody else do. We have to become originators, right? Of In order to be a thought leader in the shortest period of time, you need to think like blue ocean strategy and you need to come up with something new. Like J-Man, think about meeting J-Man. How many years ago did we meet him, Carrie, at Rapid? And, and what was the PowerPoint? presentation skill that you taught us it wasn't powerpoint what's your preferred Pre prezi prezi okay so we sitting in this prezi class my mind is hurting right um but j man has always had the ability to to do something different something that 
the people who have been around longer are not going to be willing to take the chance, which is how he's been successful in pivoting his business in the past 12 months. There are people we have not seen in real estate education since before March the 13th, 2020. That's Think true. about that That's because true. of their inability to do something different. My competition has narrowed. I don't have to me. I don't have new competition. The competition, it's fewer people because of their inability to try some of these things new. And the more you try, right, the, the stronger your foundation is to build other new items upon. <clears throat> there's a there's there's truth to if you were to take that concept to the new Michael Jordan gym shoe coming out or the new iPhone or the new droid phone. There are some people that will stand in line to get the next new shiny thing. They're the ones they get it first. And then they're the ones in this case, they resell it or they get to test it first. That's the same thing in our industry. It, if we're the people that wait, you get left behind. And I'll tell you back in 2006 or seven, the office admin at the company I was with, she was like, Carrie, you need to try Facebook. And I was like, I don't need to try Facebook. I'm already on MySpace because my kid is on MySpace and I just need to be there to make sure he doesn't condemn himself and get in. And, and I get a phone call from the high school. She was like, no, 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 no. Let me tell you why. And I'm so glad that I listened to this 20 year old because of it. I was able to grow with Facebook. And there are some people come into the industry and they're trying to figure out how to figure it out. Now, can it be done? Yes, it can be done, but you still have to start. Even if you don't have a lot of followers, we have an agent in our office that has figured out the, the algorithm for reels to the point where she's grown a thousand followers in days because she figured it out. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta test, you gotta try. And the one cool thing about what Marky said was that, um, <laughs> what we I was coming to him. He ran. He, he was like, I'm out. She just took over. Um, see, now I lost my train of thought. Don't we, lose your we, train of thought. We, we knew really we had do. another we knew presentation. We, had exit. we knew yeah. we had to exit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll tell you, you, you have to get out here. You have to try. You have to test. You will mess up. And I'll talk about Ethel, another agent in our office. She came back to the business from the 90s not tech savvy and she was like okay okay carrie i'm gonna do the videos and she already knows the business and the hardest thing for us to do is to get what's here and to put it into content and then to put it out there to the masses you just have to do it yeah and, and, and let me say this i have i'm stuck between two different age groups I have some senior professionals and I mean, and they are seniors <laughs> and they're senior professionals, right? Seasoned senior professionals who are embracing Instagram reels and TikTok. But then I'm also, I have five new agents all under the age of 25, okay? And when I tell you, they got my mind going because I was joking with J-Man, but my son called him for his box. And Skylar kind of regurgitated. I said, I think I might have mentioned that to you. But he he needed to say it the way he wanted to say it, right? So I see how he's going to be able to merge being born and raised and essentially in the world of real estate. He wasn't born in this industry. He was mm, three years old when I came into this industry. But he's been here over 20 years, right? And so I can see how his mind is spinning, right, on what he wants to implement. implement and I'm noticing that 25 year old and younger group, oh, I love them. Like I love them because they haven't been tainted. Mm -hmm. This is really their first career and they're taking a hold of things substantially faster without second guessing themselves. I also see how if they had just a little bit of coaching, they can dominate market share. Hey, this is what I heard. I heard the bionic man. They'll be better, stronger. Yeah. And faster. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, and and you guys are you guys are right. I mean, here's the thing I think is interesting. Uh, Marky and Carrie said, "I'm going to come to J Man here in a second. It's I think one of the things that's very interesting. You guys all, both of you are saying is, I am listening to the people that are challenging status quo. Right? You when you are you are listening to people saying, no, 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 no. Let's try something different. You're not going, no, <laughs> no, that can't work. Which half the industry or more is saying to you every day. No, that won't work. No, that won't work. No, that won't work. You're going, hmm, 
Okay, they're challenging that. What's to that? Why are they doing? I mean, you're asking those questions. You have open ears. So going to you know, you know, again, we started at the very beginning. Marky and and J, uh, Marky's kid and J Man were talking earlier about bots, and you know, I think that's an interesting conversation because bots have gotten so much stronger lately, right? Can I know early on, and I still feel like I'm pretty smart. I can pick out a bot when I'm getting one, but I'm going to tell you, it's not the first statement. <laughs> it's usually about halfway through. I'm going, okay, I just got botted, right? It's getting right. much better. So, J-Man, you know, going along with what they're saying about how we're listening to this, go to school, I know you guys, are, you're a fan of bots. At least I'm pretty sure you are. Are you implementing those, and, and how are you going after them, and why are you seeing value in them? So yeah, I have a product. It's called Sir Bot a Lot. Kick them nasty bots. Jamie got bots. Uh, hold on, sorry. <laughs> not to start breaking it, to mix it up. It's, uh, Sir Bot a Lot, and we have real estate bots that are built out for realtors. We actually have a board bot, which is what I introduced to the AEs at the AE conference today, and then I also have a mortgage bot uh, that we've created because all a bot is is it's a predicted conversation with a personal touch. Right. If, if I told you right now, a seller's going to call you, you say, oh, how long have you been in the house? How much is that mortgage? What's the credit line? What improvements have you made? My bot does all that already. And then until they're all done and they go, they want their home equity estimate. Right. I should trademark that home equity estimate on that house. It's what they want. We're giving the people what they want, especially the, the today's modern consumer doesn't want to hop on the phone, doesn't want to walk into an office. I can remember when I first started in real estate in 2005, we had opportunity time, right? Which meant you just keep your ass in the office and wait for somebody to walk through the front door. That's, that's, that's not going to happen anymore, especially with, you know, COVID and post COVID, but <clears throat> bots, bots, you know, it predicts that conversation. It helps build rapport for you because we know the statistics, if we ask Carrie, would tell you that, Today's modern consumer is looking two to 24 months. They're doing their research prior to ever selecting a realtor to work with. And if we can be found, and that's called the zero moment of truth. If we can be found during that zero moment of truth, during that information gathering stage, then they're just going to pick us as their realtor. It's not a closing process. It's just, man, this guy's given me value after value after value. That, that's what the bots do. They go, okay, here's something you want to know about. First time home buyers. Here's how you get ready, your home ready for sale. And every time it's like, here you go. And I walk away. It's like a takeaway close, right? I walk away. I go, here's something else that you value. And I walk away. Well, wait, 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 wait. No, no. You need something to so let me know. And I walk away, right? Think about every, every girl or guy you ever chased after in your whole life was the one who tried to walk away from you. I chased somebody. <laughs> wait a minute. Listen, right? don't even let Marky talk. Well, Marky, they, they, they never, Marky got chased. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's <laughs> Look, 50 and still getting chased. Okay, I got secrets on this thing. So, yeah, still getting chased. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so well, it's just the boss. In closing, I'll just say this. I try to pick something when I ask other people to go, damn, that's hard. Or, yeah, I tried that, but it was, eh. That's what I do. That's why I picked Prezi. That's why I use Ecamm Live for my virtual stuff. That, that's, all these things had a learning curve that were, was like this. Bots the same way, because now if I can master it, people want to work with people who are an expert at something. And if it's hard for other people to figure out, don't get frustrated. Just say, okay, this is the thing. I'm going to do this better than anybody else. Now, now they have to pick you because nobody else is good at it. Well, and that's huge, right? I mean, again, we're talking tech, but I think there's a huge word that you just said there. Become the expert in something. <laughs> something. Pick it. I, I, the, Pick it. Pick one thing. And if you're like, if it's going to be Facebook, if it's going to be LinkedIn, you got to go figure out when they hang out on LinkedIn or Facebook. And and Marky said, be consistent. We are not consistent. And sometimes I watch and then and I see agents, they disappear because, you know, one, I mean, now that I'm kind of my office is kind of at home, one day I'm going to have my monitor on the screen so I can watch Hootsuite all day to figure <laughs> out what people are doing. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm looking at Instagram and I'm like, yeah, they disappeared. Or I no longer see their posts because they're not consistent because the algorithm says they're not engaging. And so you disappear. So it, Mark, you can relate. Maybe J man, maybe Justin, but there used to be a thing that we used to say called holding up the wall. We'd go to a party and, and, and the people that would be standing on the wall, they didn't, they never danced with someone. They never got a phone number. 
<laughs> Maybe back then they never got the home phone numbers because they didn't engage. So if you go, if you don't hang out, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you hang out, if you hang out on social media and you're just the watcher, right? You're holding up the wall. Is that a thing? We holding up the Facebook wall. <laughs> you aren't gonna get you. Hmm. You won't build relationships. You won't get engagement, and you won't generate new leads. And if you don't build the bot, because now I got, I have two bots. I need Jay the man to build. And then he can go sell them. If you're not engaging and you're not doing any of this, you're holding up the wall. Hmm. I, I, one, we do need J Man to build a bot. Okay, that'll be first and foremost. Actually, I got three now that you said that. He, here's the next thing. Clearly, I was not the person holding up the wall ever <laughs> in Facebook or in real life. Cause look, me and J Man, we have TikTok videos, right, in a whole nother city in Vegas. Right at a conference, getting it in. What? Uh, 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 wait, uh, wait, let me say this. It always, it's always a risk if you want to do some kind of dance stuff related with Marky, because then her girlfriends will hop on. Yeah, that dude was all right, but he wasn't ready. For <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, I don't care. The fact is that you're talking about that I wasn't ready, so I'm good. I'm good to go. It was, it was, that was funny. Yeah, it we was need about funny. five dances that we all need to practice. So we're all in the same city. We could break out on TikTok. If you give me time to practice, I'm all for it. But man, I, I am the whitest of white men. You, you, I have no rhythm. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll get you off. We'll, we'll keep, find some easy ones. Don't worry, because I was trying to teach Mark one. Carlton. Carlton is about the only one I got mastered. You got that. You yeah. got the Carlton master. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got to have a couple. I got to have a couple encouraging drinks ahead of time but i can get that one out oh, oh you, you Lord. just need a little you need you need a, a i need yeah. i need that little that little muscle relaxer <laughs> it's san diego nar 2021 oh who's planning oh. on going i'm going i don't care if don't nobody else go i have to get out of the house am That's i the, the only one going to president circle no you sarah Ware, nakia pipiyama mcgriff they're all they'll meet you down there you're not so, going, Marky. You didn't. You didn't I, sneak in. Nope, I'm not sneaking in. Um, you guys will see me back on the circuit starting in June. Uh, I needed. You know, I'm a vac. I am a COVID survivor. So is my husband. I needed that vaccine to go on and kick in, so that I'll feel more comfortable uh, hitting the road. But yeah, come June, I'm back out here. Well, we'll do some karaoke. I got. I got the mic, and then we'll just figure out what the group dance is going to be. <laughs> To the hip hip hop, you don't stop the rockets. That's bang, easy. Bang, boogie, set up, oh, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. Uh, I'll just be the background dancer. I'm good to go. Um, exactly. I'll do that all day long. I'm good. Oh my god. Oh my god. We I'm good. Taking hey, you over know your what? podcast. Well, you got the jumpsuit this. on right now to match, so I'm ready to go. I was looking forward to hanging out with you guys this afternoon. Uh, today was kind of a rough day. I got a thank you card back that I actually wrote to someone. One two two thousand and two, and just to see the growth over time. Well, one the fact that the person saved the note, right? They sent it back to me at an appropriate time to just let me know who I was today, right? And the growth. And sometimes growth, you don't even know you're growing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the intentions you want to be better, but when someone acknowledges that and send you back a copy and they didn't send it back they actually had my uncle drop it off to me so here's the note and it is from uh january of 2002 so i'm just so grateful because the day has been emotional just seeing all that has transpired in that almost 20 years man that's awesome that's awesome but, but then guess what to realize i've been writing handwritten notes for a long time <laughs> I, well, you know what, and that I'll, I'll tell you what. So let me ask you this: I have been telling a lot of people this year, which I think is a great point. Tech trends are huge, and there's no doubt about it, right? We all talk about how the power of being in in the tech and doing that stuff, and all three, all four of us in this room, we're obviously tech savvy, tech strong, right? We are that. But is anybody else seeing a back to basics boom? Oh, yeah. Uh, Carrie Gong, hold on, just 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 sit still, be comfortable for a hot second here. Do I see a back to basics boom? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna bust out some signage. 
No, we, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not busting out signs. Sorry, J-Man, mean, I set them up. I didn't. These, I are, like, these are the cards that I've received so far just this year, right? This is last year's cards uh, that people sent me. I take them and I put them in a Christian planner. Look, look how this thing is jam-packed with people who took the time to write a note, sign it, say something, and send it to me. And that goes to say a lot. Carrie was going to pull out her direct mail. So Carrie, show them your direct mail. I, mean, you I, mailed I, it. I, I showed it to you this morning. I mean, but, or earlier. And I, this is, I, I am all for you. See, Marky's already got her stuff. I have, I have a kid that needs to do mine, but I, what I what I know is the, based on Pew Research. We don't we don't hide where we get the data from. We just go get it. Based on Pew Research, anyone under the age of now, well, the internet is now thirty one years old. Yeah. If you are over the age of fifty, you are on social media, but you're not using it the way the next generation is. So we still need a shift. And and what I realized because of COVID, people like the handwritten notes. They're actually, they're getting, you get out of the house. Ooh, I can go to the mailbox. I can get my mail and we're opening it. We're taking time to read it. So if you really want to build a business, getting back to the basics, but adding the QR code, I'm sure J man has one. He could pop up on the screen, getting back to bringing in the, the new tech with traditional marketing is a game changer because I can now, um, if someone calls me and says, Hey, Carrie, I want to buy a house. I can send right there. You go. I can send them the link to my YouTube channel that says, here's the steps to buying a house. If you're a new real estate agent, I can send you the link. So you got, so you got your license. Now what I can take, I can actually get more views there. And then by the time you get to me, you already know me. What's funny. Cause Katie Lance picture is here. This is something that Katie Land sent me in the mail, right? So Katie Lance, high tech, is sending out direct mail pieces. Barbara Betts, two of the best customized cards I got last year from Barbara Betts, right? Sent them in the mail. Now, this is from Matt DeFanis, past president, mm -hmm. Illinois Realtors. Now, it wasn't the fact he sent the card. Do you see this penmanship? Like, this is a real freaking handwritten note. So when you got... Matt Defanis, Barbara Betts, Katie Lance, people who are high tech and they're sending out direct mail pieces that should not even direct mail, handwritten notes that should tell you something about its power. I have people who tag me because I mail out books. Not only do I mail out books, right? I mail out my own custom stickers. But everything that I mail to people, I want them to use it without my name being all over it, right? Something that they could just use in their business for people to have conversation with them. So I send everybody the world's greatest real estate marketer. It don't say Marky Lemons on it. So that people will think that they are the world's greatest marketer. So, yep, I, I mail because um, I was social before social media. <laughs> oh, Yes, because I was telling Marky this weekend I did a photo shoot and we were outside and in when we were we were walking. So my husband and the photographer had me walking and doing the oh gosh, I feel bad. What was the challenge? The the walk challenge. Um, and I was telling Marky how yeah, man, I was next. so embarrassed. Yeah. And Marky was like, I would have just ate that up. <laughs> no, go All for right, it. Say it. I'm good. Say I'm it, good. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm look, right. uh, look, I have muzzled, muzzled. Sure. No, no. So I mean, we started this conversation by doing bots. Now we're back to letters. I mean, how so? How does that work for you? Are you actually are you reaching out? I mean, I I know you are, but how are you reaching out other than the tech side of the world? Uh, I would like to say that I write a lot of personal notes, but that answer would be incorrect. Uh, <laughs> in my I, in my mind, I I would like to, but here's where my my online goes offline. When we can be in person again, I am one of the best in person networkers that you will see because I take the social media connections that I have and I'm strategic about, man, I was super busy at, uh, I think that was the Remax conference where Marky was, but I sought her out because she's my people. And I'm like, Marky, yo, I know you're busy too. You got to do presentations. Let's just get quick 10 minutes. Let's hop outside and do a TikTok. And you know, one of her people held. So like, I make sure I'm not the guy that says, when you come to town, look me up and then not answer my phone. Right. 
Carrie came to Rochester. I took her around Rochester. We see she got a mount, Mark's the bouncer in the back there. What's up, homie? Hey, J Man. Yeah, we need that hat, Mark. Oh, I got you. Here, I got you. You got to come on to Chicago and get it. Make a ride as soon as you finish up. No, you have to strap up the ride. Like, I, I need just, just can't you mail it to me overnight? No, 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 no. We're going to have to meet somewhere safe. Okay. <laughs> no, just, so, Mark needs to take me on one of those rides in one of those one of the cars that you keep putting out there. So. Right, that Bentley that's that's gone yeah. that I'm sure is hidden. We'll talk about that another day. Go ahead, so, Jay Man. So that's it. That's it. I'm I'm done. Offline, no, you know. You know, I think the thing that everyone said here, and, and Jay Man started saying it right off the bat here, right? It's zero moment of truth. And that's what everyone is doing. And we're doing it so many different ways. And that's the thing to realize is that when we're doing this stuff, we're doing it intentionally unintentionally to be front of mind top of mind right everything that we have done is going to keep everybody there in those conversations you're not going to forget matt defanis for sending that card but you're going to completely remember him for the essay he wrote in the card right it's, it's going to be one of those things and and those are the small things i think people forget and they can be done so many different ways um through the videos through the bots through those conversations through all these tools to pick that out there. Um, I know you're getting close, J man, to being time to go, right? Yeah, I, I got, I'm just a virtual MC for about 300 people. At, at, at yeah, no big, no, 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 <laughs> no big deal. No, no big, big deal. No big deal. But the last example I'll give is when Marky was at celebration, she came into the speaker ready room. And I'm telling you, like, you know, when you're, when you speak somewhere, you're like, we're on. And then when you go to the speaker ready room, you like melt into a pile of nothing. You're like, <laughs> And then Mark came in like, Jay, you want to do a video? Let's go! Let's go! It's like you just flip the switch because that's what you do. Because we had an event to do up in Minnesota together, right? And so then I didn't realize when we get to Minnesota, there's two different terminals, right? <laughs> so, so, oh, wait, this is camaraderie, right? So my boy David Knox sends a car for me to come record in his studio. I kidnap J-Man. We go to David Knox's studio. We record. I then kidnap him again, and we go hang out at a whole different franchise affiliations office and get some little snacks. And then we go to our hotel room. And I know, I, I felt sorry for J-Man. I know he like, is this what you do really well, on every <laughs> trip? <laughs> that's the difference. That's like the, the offline social networking where like people can see that we are consistent and we're authentic because we're the same people online as we are offline. Yeah. One thousand percent. There's some people that you see them online and then you see them in person. You're like, oh, that's a persona. That's not really you. You know, and that's it's almost like when you see behind the curtain of the wizard, you're like, oh, damn, it ruins it. It's all she is. That's marketing. Well, but, up. yeah, it's authentic, right? I mean, that's who it is, because when you're getting hired and when you're being seen and when people want to use you, they want to use you, not the, as J-Man said, the persona, right? They're not what they're looking for, and you're going to lose trust almost as fast. And the worst thing about it is, and we saw this early on in social media, when people were hiring to be something and they didn't divulge that, it lost credibility in waves. It was a rocket throughout the social media world that was killed. So something you got to be careful about all right so with this being done we're already talked forever and it's awesome and we could do this again probably have to do it again probably four or five more times just to catch all the material up but we purpose a lot of content here yeah a lot of stuff so let me ask this for each one of you let's do it this way we've got a few things i'll start with j man on this one let's let's sit there and say what is the top tool people should be paying attention to today messenger bots I would hmm. agree. I would agree. I'm going to go Facebook creator. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Hmm. Carrie, the pressure's on. Man, I, the pressure is on. I'm going to say Clubhouse and, 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 and redirect to the social media channel, channel where you need growth. That was good advice, y'all. Good advice. <laughs> you, I'm going to tell people the real simple thing. Start looking to hire a virtual assistant, a real estate virtual assistant. Um, the, the honest answer is, folks, I'm telling you that right now. I, I don't know if I just gave a secret away because I saw some smiles going on that I don't know. But um, I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of virtual assistants out there that don't know real estate. And we as realtors need to be able to focus on what we need to focus on and not doing everything that we literally just got telling you done to worry about. 
<laughs> and it's a problem for us. That was what me and Carrie's, I believe, our last two hires. Yeah. So I just hired a virtual assistant. Uh, I think Carrie just hired a virtual assistant. And so those were the last two hires. And a real person that's here helping me right now. So that two. was my live, my live stream two weeks ago, Ask the Experts Anything, was uh, how to hire a virtual assistant. You can find it on YouTube.com slash Jayman Speaks. Holler at your boy. Perfect setup. Plug time. <laughs> Perfect time. So let's plug away, folks. Let's plug away. So J-Man, because I know you're the time crunch of all time crunch. Yeah. Plug away. Say how people need to find you, what they need to know about you, besides that you are just amazing. So Solo.to slash J-Man Speaks. Nice. I'm, I'm going to say join me every Friday on Instagram for Coffee with Carrie Live. And if you go to my Instagram and you go to my link tree, I have a free download for you today. And I'll let Marky talk about the more exciting one. Well, th today <laughs> they can reach us at Operation I've Got Houses for Sale where we're changing mindset and realize that there is no shortage of inventory, there is a shortage of listed properties. So I want to change your mind on how to go get you some properties to sell. But you can find me on markylemons.com. If you spell my name correctly, you will find me all over the internet. M-A-R-K-I-L-E-M-O-N-S. Well, thanks everybody for being there. I appreciate your time. We actually, this was a lot of fun, a lot of energy. I feel like I should go run about a mile now. So <laughs> thanks for everybody for doing this. And we are out. So you know, I sell houses 